I hope you're preparing very well for your exam and UTME exam. I wish you success. But this is a jump question I saw, a past jump question. <laughs> I'll be giving you a recent jump question. That will be exam my practice. I sh I'm sure you don't do exam my practice. So therefore, we are asked to find the value of x. So at this point, we're given 1 divided by 10, all enclosed in a bracket to the power of x equal to 100. So now, recall that if I have 1 divided by n, this can be expressed as n to the power of negative 1. So therefore, at this point here, we can have it to be 10 to the power of negative 1, all raised to the power of x equal to 100. So we can simplify the index here. So minus 1 times x is minus x. So we have 10 to the power of minus x. Now, look at the right-hand side. What can be done to 100 to express it in the form of 10? So we know that 10 to the power of 2 is equal to 100. So therefore, this becomes 10 to the power of 2. Since their bases are the same, we have to equate their powers. So therefore, minus x is equal to 2. Of a truth, we can't leave the variable without a negative sign. So we multiply this equation by negative 1. So we have that x is equal to minus 2. Don't forget to read very well for your jump and UTME exam. And for more questions on indices, also for log reading, for equations, trigonometry, geometry, and all kind of it, please don't forget to visit our YouTube channel if you are watching from TikTok or Facebook. The channel name is Radiant Minds Academy. We have solved a lot of questions and exam past questions. But I wish you success in your exam. Bye.